this test of computer owner said they get blue screen on the monitor when they are working. Last night I made a test and I got another thing. But I want you to pay attention to the following picture. It's very common in transportation. A lot of desktop they get loose connectors. So always check the connectors before starting to do anything else. Now I'm going to tighten the connector. Let's power it. Now the processor fan is spinning. We saw a flash for reset. Mm -hmm. Date and time is not set. The reason? The CMOS battery is probably discharged. So let's press F1 to set up the time and the date. To make it easier, I will go to the end and I will load the setup defaults. Okay. Save it. Exit and save the, ch the change. Okay. When we get the blue screen in Windows, several things could be the reason, but some of the main reasons are always memory. In software, what happens is the software go up until getting the point that we call overflow. You cannot see it. Why? Because we went to the end of the memory and went to the nothing that caused the problem so we will try to perform a software restoration trying to look for which file is bad and try to batch it by replacing the wrong file and also we will check the memory in my case I always do software uh, fixing and I always do hardware cleaning and fixing. Now after rebooting, Windows should come out on the right way. I will run some antivirus and there are some fixing programs original from Microsoft that you can download. I will run them to see if the problem is a software by virus or a corrupted Windows file. While it is happening, I'm going to use a thermometer and I will check the temperature on the microprocessor's radiator. I didn't remove the dust from the radiator yet because I want to know if the problem is the processor overheating but looks to me very well it's 27 degrees celsius supposedly the system shut down after 85 90 degrees so for the blue screen problem i will tell you the microprocessor is innocent 
I have been running the computer for about three hours and I don't get yet the blue screen syndrome. The antivirus says there are zero virus to detect or malware or anything similar. It's expectable because the desktop's owner changed the operati operative system. So I'm going to stop here this kind of test and I will go to clean the desktop and fix some cosmetic problems on it. I have been fixing computers since the end of the 80s. In so many years before nowadays computers, uh, Tandy, Commodore 64, uh, Ataris and all kind of dinosaurs that we don't have nowadays. Uh, cleaning didn't change in anything. People ask always what is better to use a vacuum machine to clean the dust or to use a compressor? I rather to use the compressor. But to tell you the truth, no one of them is good enough if you don't use these two tools. The only way to do something right is doing it right. And the only way to, do, to perform a good cleaning is taking everything apart and clean it right. This is the way to prepare things for cleaning. Even if we use a compressor, we cannot remove all the dust on the radiator unless we remove the fan. I'm planning to, to reflow the video chip and reflow the video memory on the card, just to ensure the blue screen syndrome is not coming from there. I'm planning also to reflow the memory scene. I will make one exception with the power supply because it looks very clean inside and is brand new. I don't want the client to lose the warranty. I will use some of these tools for the cleaning. I will also have to find a way to, fi to fix the cosmetics problems on the chassis. Now everything looks clean enough to me. That's the way to make the cleaning. And remember, don't attempt to wash your motherboard.
the matter is not to put a lot, it's to put enough. Because if we put a lot, we are creating a resistance between the transferring of the heat from the processor to the radiator. No, it looks good to me. The light doesn't help us, but we got enough space to cover the surface without making it so thick. The battery from the computer is discharged. That's the reason why we lose the day and the time. It's 47 millivolts. The new battery must be 3 volts. This will solve the BIOS losing date and time problem. This fan is the processor's fan. Now looks very clean and good. But I hear one of the fans is snoring and making some strange noise. I will now open the power supply as I said because it has warranty and is still on the warranty. But I'm going to open this fan and I will clean it inside. I recommend you, I will now record that for you, I recommend you to check the video of how to fix a noisy fan and you will learn how to deal with them. This is part of the job that a compressor cannot do. Everywhere there is dust accumulated. Okay, before to place the motherboard back, I found a situation. Supposedly, on this place, I should put a screw. Next one is here. That means I should use this place. Not this other one. This copper base is touching somewhere around the video chip. Can you see the line? 
first look here. This one will be under this. Okay, this is the line. This one should be under the one that is behind the capacitor. This is the line. And this other guy goes exactly to touch the more board making a short circuit. The motherboard came holded by four screws. I added two more. The reason why this uh, pin under the motherboard didn't make a permanent short circuit was because those screws they were missing. If somebody put it, will realize that if they make a short circuit on the motherboard. Let's pay attention to the motherboard and let's see the place that the base was touching the board here we have the two holes for the screws under the board and right here hard to see for you in the solder there is a mark and if we pay attention on the following picture we can see there the mark and a little bit of the round of the base smashing the motherboard after I found the problem with the motherboard and the screw on the base I decided I will not reflow the video card today I will wait until tomorrow to do the job what I did right now I put the second hard disk drive to work I'm running it I'm finding virus on it and also I'm leaving Microsoft Word open for tonight so let's see how is it going and what to do tomorrow This is next morning after the night and let's see if the computer is still working or if I got the blue screen problem. No. So far so good. It's still on. Let's give some extra job. looks like probably we have a fixed computer or maybe the problem is here after the hard disk drive defrag I will place the video card and I will try it with it I didn't find any problem on the desktop yet. I have been running softwares, keeping the hard disk drive, PC, the processor, the memory, and nothing happens. I didn't get the blue screen problem. So I will not reflow the video card yet. I'm going to place it back and make a test because the last chances I have to find the problem is or the problem is here or the problem was on the short circuit in the motherboard high probabilities are that the problem was on the motherboard with the short circuit
this is high temperature capton tape when I put the paste here I will leave the tape there I will clean again the contacts because I put my fingers on it. The unknown device alarm is telling us there is a missing driver, but now the missing driver has been installed. I didn't get any blue screen problem on the desktop. I think the problem was solved with the motherboard short circuit correction. I added a net, metal net, to cover the CD-ROM base because I don't have anyone to put there. I also made the lights to work. I fixed another cosmetic problem because the tap didn't get close enough to the end of the place. And I painted a black line in between so now it doesn't look bad. Also, I unbent the video card support. Now it's holded by the chassis and it's not hanging down, falling as it used to do. I will leave the computer working tonight as I did it last night. And I hope I'm going to give it back to its order tomorrow. Thanks by watching it.